This is magnificent. This is spectacular. This is the best thing I've seen so far in Antigua. Let's go, baby. Woo! Hola, buenos dias. Welcome to Antigua. You're probably wondering which part of Ecuador Antigua's in. Well, it's not. I'm in Guatemala. New country, new adventure. Let's do it. Antigua is roughly 40 kilometers away from the Guatemalan capital, which is Guatemala City. I drove here straight from the airport in a shuttle taxi. It took about an hour and a half. It wasn't that bad a journey. The population in Antigua is very small. It's only about 46,000 people. Now, it's 46,000 and one Scotsman. There's 37 known volcanoes in Guatemala. Three of those volcanoes reside in the Antigua area. They are Agua, Fuego, and Acatanango. And the most amazing thing is you can actually see the volcanoes from the city center. And as promised, that's Agua Volcano right over my left shoulder. We're in the city centre and you can see a volcano. How amazing is that? Behind me is the Church of La Merced and it's right in the centre of Antigua and it's one of many churches that are in this amazing city. The colonial buildings in Antigua are so spectacular, so unique, that they were declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1978. Behind me is the Santa Catalina Arch. It's one of the most popular tourist attractions in Antigua. And every day, hundreds of people come here, line up, and get their pictures taken for Instagram and Facebook. There's literally dozens of people all queued up waiting to get their pictures taken. There's photographers for weddings, birthday parties, random photo shoots. This is the best I can do picture wise. I'm not going to stand and wait because it's so hot and there's many other places to photograph. I think maybe the Hells Angels are in town. I haven't seen this many motorbikes since I lived in Cambodia. The sun is killing me, it's absolutely killing me. I must say the one thing I love about Antigua so far, I feel very, very safe. There's lots of police, there's lots of tourist police. See that right there? Another busload of tourists is turning up. Another 20 tourists to throw into the mix. Look at this, what an absolute tourist trap this has turned into. I believe this is the very center of Antigua. It's a big square, there's a huge fountain right in the center, it's surrounded by amazing buildings, but there's hundreds and hundreds of tourists. It's very touristy, there's lots of touts as well. With tourists come the touts. People selling clothes, people selling jewelry, people selling food, people selling hats. I've just spotted some ruins in the distance. I'm gonna go over and check it out. I can guarantee it's gonna be spectacular to film.
Well, I try to tell you that Antigua was beautiful. Look at this stunning, stunning structure. Antigua has been struck by several large earthquakes over the centuries. Many of the buildings like this one here that were damaged by the earthquakes hundreds of years ago still stand today, not only as tourist attractions, but also as a reminder of the power of the earthquakes. Behind me is San Agustin, another amazing church in Antigua that survived an earthquake. This place cost a dollar to get in. See this here? This is one of the central markets in Antigua. I came here yesterday to buy this baseball cap. I got lost for an hour and a half. There's no way I'm going back in. Look at all these tuk-tuks. The last time I ever seen a tuk-tuk was when I lived in Southeast Asia. Now I'm here in Central America and I see them again. I may be mistaken, but I believe this used to be a hotel. It was destroyed during one of the earthquakes and now it's a tourist attraction. It cost about $6 to get in, but it's very peaceful, not many tourists, very interesting, very relaxing. I would love to climb over here, but there's no clear route. About 20 feet drop down, I don't want to break my leg on this trip, so I'll just look, but I won't touch. I am loving this. This is one of the most interesting things I've done since I came to Antigua. Those big buses that you see in Guatemala, they call them chicken buses. I don't know why, but it's their form of public transportation. It looks like something on Pimp My Ride. Okay, final stop on the Richard Curry tour of Antigua. Had to pay $6 to get in here, but it looks amazing, it looks spectacular. I'm very excited about this location. Wow, looks like we're saving the best to last. This location is amazing. This location used to be a monastery back in the 17th century, and one can only speculate how many people lived here. This place is immense, it must be four or five stories high, it's enormous. All these huge boulders that were once walls, foundations, part of the structure, they've just fallen down. It's one of the most amazing things I've seen in my life. And there's so many photographic opportunities. I can't believe it. These slabs are enormous. They must weigh several tons each. What force they must have came down with. Well, what an adventurous way to finish off my first day in Antigua. I've seen some awesome sights, and this is the best of them all.